welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going over different kinds of jeans that are going to be comfortable to sit in and wear on the everyday basis and that will fit a smaller waist and a bigger booty. And I, I looked in the price range of anything kind of under $100 Canadian. I wanted to keep it kind of affordable and keep it on the same kind of like level instead of trying jeans that are also $200 and then $50, just so that they're all very comparable so that if this is your price range you're looking in, you can kind of sort through these ones I tried on and decide which ones might work best for you. Hopefully this is helpful for you guys. If it is, feel free to hit that notification button. I will be uploading more videos as we go anything from try-ons to uh, recipes to workouts all that kind of stuff so thank you for supporting me and my channel and if you have questions leave them in the comments below and if you try have tried or have, are trying any of these jeans feel free to let everybody else know kind of what you think about these jeans as well because obviously we all have different bodies as well and what works for me may not work for all of you so let me know and we will talk after to go over the results. See you soon. Okay guys, first pair of jeans. These are the Everlane jeans. Um, I don't remember who recommended these, um, but they are called the Curve, the Curvy High Rise Skinny Jean. They are a size 27. Um, for reference, I would say they're a little loose on the waist. Um, I've worn them about 20 minutes and on it, and like I sat down in them, they're pretty comfortable, but honestly, I'm finding that they're already stretching and you kind of see that they're a little bit baggy here in the bum, uh, which I know issues. We need more space in my, in my in booty area, but I would say that these ones are like, they've just, they, they started off tighter and after 20 minutes, they have stretched out a little bit. So that does worry me. Um, otherwise, they're pretty comfortable though. I like the wash. I like the length. I am 5'8 for reference. Um, and they were in decent price point. So you got a pros and cons on these ones. And I think that these actually came from the States. I don't think that you can get these in Canada. So I don't know for these ones, obviously they're not my favorite, but they're not bad. Um, maybe if you wash them, they'll tighten up again. But if they just keep stretching out, I'm not really sure if I would end up keeping them. I'll probably return these ones, but we'll see by the time I try on all of them. Okay, these are the American Eagle. Um, okay, gotta remind myself. Curvy highest rise jegging. These are a regular 26 width size two. Um, when I say those are true to size, no. I just went off of my measurements and then ordered everything online, to, like looking at everybody's size charts. Um, but these are, they retail for $64.95, I believe. So. But when you buy two, you get some kind of discount, or maybe that was just running at the time. But I would say that these are honestly cool, very comfortable. You can see they're actually like really nice and high rise, which I really like. Um, they are a little bit gapy in the waist, but not too bad, I would say. Um, like honestly, it's comfortable. I don't feel like I'm dying or anything, so that's good. Um, I think that it's nice and tight around the glutes, which is great, and the legs. The length is good for the price point. I actually really like these. Um, these are definitely in the running for keeping. Um, yeah, for the price and the comfort style. I don't know. We'll see. Still got a few more pairs to go. So, but overall, comfort, great size, good um, color, fantastic too. Okay, these are the American Eagle curvy jeggings again, um, size two or 26 waist. They are honestly extremely comfortable, and for this price point of $64.95, I'm feeling pretty good about these ones. I think Maddie Pancrats recommended the American Eagle. Actually, I think there are probably seven of you who recommended the American Eagle jeggings, but price point, really good, comfort good, waist, nice and tight in here, so that's great. Um, hugs the glutes, which is also fantastic. Um, and yeah, overall, size, fit, quality, these are definitely in the running. I definitely like these a lot better than the Everling ones that I tried on. Those ones bagged out after like 10, 20 minutes. So, and so far, these ones, I can do lots of activities. Lots of activities. Yeah, we'll see. I think I'm liking these ones a lot. We'll see how she goes. 
<laughs> okay, so these ones are the Abercrombie and Fitch Curved Love. Um, my size is a 27 for regular in these ones. And honestly, the price for these ones is about 80 to 110 regular price. I my I bought two pairs, different colors, and one was 80, no, sorry, 61 and then 54 with like the deal they had going on at the time for the regular price. Would never buy these if I'm being honest. Um, they, the fit is pretty comfy, but I feel like this crotch is just super baggy. Like if you see that, it just bags out. I don't know if I need to be pulling them up higher or something. They are kind of tight on the waist, which is pretty good. Um, they're flattering for sure, but this crotch thing is kind of throwing me off and for the price, I don't know. They are stretchy though. They are comfortable. I won't lie about that. I just don't love the fit entirely. It's not my favorite. So I don't know. You would have to kind of see for yourself, you know, what your price point is. Uh, but if you got glutes like me um, and hammies, quads like me, you're probably going to like them. Just so you might have a little bit of gaping a little bit of bagginess in the crotch area there. So otherwise, pretty good. Gonna keep them? Definitely not. But, and I think maybe I should have gotten a long, I think they're regular length, but they're just a little bit short on me. So, but I do kind of have longer legs. Okay, these ones, I already put them on and they fit like a glove. These ones are so, so comfortable. Um, these are, the Joni jeans by the bay or like top shop and honestly they hug everything so comfortably compared to all the jeans I've tried on so far these are definitely my favorite um, nice and tight on the booty which is good um, and the legs uh, the length is pretty good actually considering the other ones all kind of felt too short these ones I feel like are like long enough um, they're a little bit shredded at the bottom which I like um, this is definitely way tighter. The waist is definitely way tighter than the other ones I've tried so far. And these ones I think were $55 Canadian. So these, honestly, I'm thinking, I think that these, I think I want to keep these ones for sure. I feel like already I'm ready to say that. Yeah, big fan. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below, but I think I'm going to keep these ones for 55, 55 bucks Canadian and I think it was free shipping. We'll see. They're nice and flattering. I think they make my bum look good. All right. So after trying on all these different jeans, uh, we had Abercrombie, American Eagle, uh, The Bay, Topshop, and Everlane as well. Um, the winner was The Bay with Topshop. Joni jeans. So I love those ones. I'm still wearing them now because they're actually so comfortable. They really cinch everything in, hold it all together. Like the, it's not baggy and I don't feel like I'm wearing leg prisons. So that's the best. Then the second runner up was the American Eagle, the jeggings. I also really like these ones too. I'm going to actually keep the light wash of these and keep the black of uh, the Joni jeans. The price point was really good. Uh, regular $75. When I bought those ones, I got them at $55. Uh, with $20 off, I'm going to wait for maybe Black Friday and see if I can find them again uh, for another good price. So, and hopefully I'll be able to just buy another pair of the ones, these black ones and a light wash or maybe like a medium wash as well. But I will keep these um, curvy highest rise jeggings for American Eagle as well. They were regular $64.95. I think I got them for like $51.40 or something. So I'm um, gonna keep these ones, the black ones. Hopefully this helped you guys um, just see kind of some different brands out there. See what maybe will work for you. Hopefully it was helpful. If it was, please let me know below in the comments. Uh, subscribe if you hit that notification bell. All those things really, really help me and my channel. So I really appreciate it. I'll be uploading more videos. And if there's anything else you wanna see, you want me to do a review of anything else, then let me know, I am down. I'm always interested in finding things that are gonna work and letting you guys know what is convenient, what is comfortable, um, because nobody likes pregnant leg prisons. Because nobody likes leg prisons, let's be honest. Should I work?